Next, let's move to the color noise. I would like to do the red channel first. Click on the red in the preview mode, you see the red color information. Not good, not enough, quite a bit of noise. So, increase adjust color red to surprise more of the red noise. Now it's better, maybe a little bit more. You can still see a little bit noise color there, and in this case, I will use clean color to clean up the big color noise. Now it looks good. Before, after, before, after. You can see actually the software try to recover the color edge. That's this is the thing you see that it's try to recover sharper color edge than original. This is another nice feature of uh, Topaz denoise technology. This is before, this is after. You can see the color edge actually got re restored before, after. Now, I'm happy with the red channel, do the same thing to the blue channel. Hmm, it's looked already pretty good, before, after. And maybe too good, maybe too strong, Let's, uh, I'm just trying to reduce it a little and see what's going on. I think I li like this better, reduce it furthermore. And uh, before, after, before, after, I like it. Now I go back to the RGB full color image to see what is the result. This is after, before, after. Go somewhere else. Okay, before, after. Not bad, before, after. Now, it's, uh, it's not bad, and I will just uh, pan around and do some final adjustment. First thing is, let's see here. One thing you can see, you can sort of see the strap, horizontal and the vertical. If you see the before the noise picture, you see these horizontal lines. This is called bending noise. Topaz denoise file introduced a new aspect that is basically for handling the bending noise. So let's turn it on. Let's turn on horizontally and see what's going on. Much nicer. And you can also turn on vertical, depending. And uh, before, after, you can see the bending noise is almost gone. Another thing I would adjust in this case is called black level. If you turn off the auto bright, you already see the it's quite dark. But if you turn it on, you see this red hazy uh, haze cast color cast on the very dark background, and the topaz noise has a auto black level correction to deal with this situation. So right now it's in the default value. Let's say if we turn it off, you will see much stronger haze, the red haze cast. And I would like to increase it a little bit. Ah, a little bit better blue sky. And maybe a little bit more. So this is before the sky, after. Let's check some other dark area, the car area. So this is uh, this is before, this is after. Without black level correction, you see the red cast. With uh, auto dark level correction, now the the color of the car is um, looks more correct. Afterward, what I do is I just pan around a different area and do some, uh, some correction. Maybe I will uh, increase a little bit of the shadow 
Uh, so maybe I can get a better result on the car. Hmm, I like it better. But I just make sure uh, the other part detail doesn't get suppressed before, after. So I will do that around. And now, that's it. To recap, first you reset all slider to value to zero. Then do the luma reduction first. Work on mid-tone area. Then work on the shadow. At the end, work on the highlight. After that, you want to try recover detail slider to recover some detail if you see the picture get a little bit too smooth. And you can reduce blur and add a little bit of green to make it look natural. Then you can work in color and afterward do some final adjustment. Click OK will process the result. But before that, I would like to save it as a preset for my other use. So open the preset panel and say save a preset. I will say Canon 5D Mark II. And the preset type, because I'm going to use this one specifically for my Canon camera at uh, ISO 3200, I will use so-called absolute, which means next picture, if I use this preset, it use exactly the same parameter as this one. It doesn't do any automatic adjustment. So I will say it's uh, just the type in Canon camera. ISO is uh, 3200. Image time is raw. And uh, you say you save it as a absolute preset. And say OK. Now you have your own preset. Now we finish reducing the noise of this picture. Let's have a look. Because the, dark, the picture is fairly dark, let's add an adjustment layer to so we can see see it more clearly. And uh, we brightened it up using the curl. So this is the before the noise reduction. After, before, after. Two things you can see clearly. First, because of the right sensor noise is pretty prominent in Canon camera. You see a red cast over all the picture. Topaz denoise automatic black level correction correct the red cast and produce much better color tone at the shadow area. Second, you see a pretty clear and sharp picture that uh, you can actually use. Let's zoom in and have a look. So this is a result before, after. Notice also the bending noise of this picture also is completely removed. Now this is a pretty much usable picture. You can do a little bit other adjustment. Let's do a little bit, increase a little bit saturation, make it nicer. And that's it. You have a very nice night shot picture from this one, before noise reduction. You can't use it to this one. I hope this tutorial gave you an uh, overlook on how to use Topaz Denoise file. I am really looking forward for your comment and the feedback. Thank you very much.